Like many of you, I have ventured out to Micro Center. I have waited on BestBuy.com, spamming F5 over and over, trying to get that magical drop of a 5080 or a 5090. But also, like many of you, I haven't been able to secure a card. And as luck would have it, Asus contacted me and said, hey, we have a card for you to check out if you're interested. And I, and I said, yeah, of course I'm interested. Send it over, right? So they sent me this right here. This is the Asus ROG Astral RTX 5080. So Asus invited me to a call to talk about this card in great detail. There is so much detail in this card. We spoke about it for over an hour and I still don't think we covered everything that the card has to offer. And so I'm going to do an unboxing video today, share some overview information. This is not a dedicated review. I will be doing a dedicated review on this, so if you're interested in that, please get subscribed, stay tuned, all the things. Massive shout out to ASUS for sending this over and sparing one of their very limited review samples for me because I know inventory is low right now, so I'm very grateful for that. But yeah, this card is very expensive and I know why. I know why it's expensive and we're gonna talk about that, but first, Let's unbox it. Okay, the very first thing that I noticed whenever I picked up this box is simply how heavy it is. So according to ASUS, the ROG Astral weighs somewhere between 2,800 and 2,900 grams, which is a little over six pounds for my American friends. And yeah, this is a very heavy card. Now the packaging itself is of course high quality. And of course you have all the standard marketing material on here. It tells you it's an ROG Astral. You can see the picture of the card. You can see the RGB that the card will have. Of course it tells you it has that quad fan design. It is an overclocked model. You have 16 gigabytes of VRAM. And on the back of course it gives you a little bit more information. And it talks about other features of the car like the cooling and the power delivery and GPU guard and even software features features. I know it's just a box, but I think it looks pretty great. I like collecting boxes for PC hardware, and so I will be putting it on my shelf for display. But now, what do you get inside the box? As soon as you open the box, the first thing you'll see is a packet that has pretty much all the accessories inside, and here's everything you'll get. You will get a setup manual. You will get an anti-sag bracket, which is always nice to see for these big, heavy cards. You'll get one ROG Velcro hook and loop. You'll get one ROG magnet. You'll also get an ROG graphics card keycap. This thing is pretty awesome. It's like your own mini fidget spinner right there out of the box. All the fans on this actually spin. And of course, yeah, you can replace a keycap on your keyboard with this if you want. So personally, I thought that was pretty cool. They also include what they're calling an ROG PCB ruler. And this thing's pretty cool. It definitely looks great. It's probably meant for a showpiece or yeah, you could use it as a standard ruler if you wanted to. And as a cherry on top, Asus includes a nice little thank you message. And finally, you'll get a one to three adapter cable to handle that 16 pin power connector. And below all that is the grand prize, the ROG Astral RTX 5080. And in my opinion, this card is absolutely gorgeous. And it's probably the most beautiful card I've ever had the privilege of working with here in the studio. It's definitely the most advanced card I've ever had the privilege of working with here in the studio. And I'm going to break down exactly what that means for you coming up next. I understand that looks are subjective. Objective, okay, but I think this card is absolutely gorgeous. I've been taking pictures and sending it around to friends and family. Pretty much everybody agrees that this card is absolutely gorgeous, but looks are subjective. Maybe you don't really care about it. So the real question is, okay, what does it offer outside of just being heavy and looking really good? And that's a great question. As I said before, this card is probably the most advanced card I've ever had here in the studio. And in addition to that, it's also a very expensive GPU. Okay, so how much does this thing cost and why? So the ROG Astral RTX 5080 is 1499 US MSRP. And there is a reason for that. I understand most gamers go into the market looking at the Nvidia pricing, which would be a thousand dollars and they want to get a GPU as close to that as possible. And while there are many AIBs, including even ASUS that do offer models closer to that price point, why is the ROG Astral so much further out ahead of that? Well, my understanding is basically this. What happens when you say go for it as in just go all out, 
and really see how far you can push this card. Well, when you have that design approach, you end up with the ROG Astral. You can look at pictures and videos all day long, but until you hold this GPU in your hands, you really can't quite understand the quality that Asus really put into this design. The ROG Astral has a metal design, and then it has designs within the metal itself, and this requires special machine time. You can't just use the exact same machines that you're using for all the other cards. This GPU literally Literally requires its own machine, which you know takes extra time, it takes extra money because you're literally cutting into metal to put the design on there to begin with. Now, right off the bat, the first thing you'll probably notice is that the ROG Astral has a total of four fans, three on the front and one on the back. It is a completely unique design. There are no other cards in the 50 series doing anything like this at all. All. And so personally, I have high expectations from a thermal standpoint, but I'll be testing that in my next video. In terms of RGB, it does have a strip on top of the card. And honestly, this is probably the coolest RGB I've ever seen on a card. When the card first receives power, the RGB loads in like a progress bar or a loading bar in a video game or something. It's actually really cool and very creative. From what I understand, it kind of looks like it has a diffuser on top of the lights. Overall, it's a much different look and design from what we're used to seeing on RGB cards. In addition to that, the ROG Astro has a unibody design. What does that mean? That sounds cool, but what does that actually mean? Well, I have two pictures on the screen for you right now, side by side. On the left is the ROG Astral from Asus, and on the right is the MSI Supreme, and these are coming from techpowerup.com, so it's an independent third party. It's not from me, it's not from Asus, and you can see clear as day the quality difference in the design. The MSI Supreme is a fine card. There's nothing wrong with it, but when you start looking at the design, you can see where the ROG Astral has that unibody design. It is seamless all the way around. Whereas with the Supreme, you have a little bit of plastic mixed in with a little bit of metal, and then you're going back to plastic, and you have several parts that are just snapped together, and you can see where the design is broken up between metal and plastic, metal and plastic. It's not as refined. The other added benefit to the unibody design is that it does allow for the GPU to use all the same material, which in this case is metal, but in addition to that, it also helps the GPU to fight against torsion, which basically means your GPU has a less chance of bending, cracking, sagging, all of that stuff. And so it does allow for a more rigid design overall. Now look, you may or may not care about that, but it does speak volumes to the quality of the ROG Astral. And in order to achieve that quality, that does cost significantly more money in R&D, research and development. So if it costs more money to research and develop, then it's obviously going to cost more money on the consumer side of things. So again, just quality is really the number one word you should think of whenever you're looking at this. Okay, that's great quality, but are there any other areas where that quality can be seen outside of just a unibody design? Well, the answer is yes. First and foremost, if you look at the display port connections, you can see that it is using a stainless steel design, and this design approach should help with rust and corrosion over time. And a quick note here, I didn't even know this until I actually got the card, but this card actually has two HDMI 2.1 ports and three DP 2.1 ports. And so that's another benefit of the ROG Astral is that you do get a secondary HDMI 2.1 port. In addition to that, let's take a look at the thermal pads. So on the screen, I'm going to show you a couple of different examples. And again, this information is coming directly from techpowerup.com. My links will be down below in the video description. This is the ROG Astral and this is the back plate. If you take this off the card, this is what you'll see. You have one, two, three, four, five thermal pads right there on the back plate. However, if we compare this to the MSI Vanguard 5080, you can see they have one square block right there on their back plate for their thermal pad, and that's it. And then if we also compare to the Gigabyte Gaming OC 5080, I don't even know if you want to call that a thermal pad. It kind of looks like chewing gum to me, so I, I don't know. But in addition to that, Asus even added a thermal pad on the ROG Astral on the PCIe 12x6 connector. Now, is that required? No, because not all cards have it. And how much of a difference does it make? I don't really know. I can't answer that. But 
it does speak again to the quality of the card. Now, if I talk for too much longer, it's basically gonna be the full review and I gotta dial it back a little bit. So let me just quickly touch on a few other areas here that I haven't spoken about yet. So number one, do you remember that really expensive 4090 from Asus a few years back called the Matrix? I think the MSRP was like $3,199, basically $3,200. It was absolutely crazy how expensive it was. Well, one of the reasons why that card was so expensive was because Asus was testing out some power sensing technology or power monitoring technology. And you know what happens whenever companies pioneer a new tech? Yeah, it's expensive at first, but then over time, if they decide to keep up with it, it comes down to other models. Well, it's here in the ROG Astral. The Astral now has a per pin amperage sensor for the 12 volt high power connector. And so you may remember all the melting connectors on the 4090 and how scary that was for a lot of people. Well, now you can monitor each individual pin inside the 12 volt high power connector. Asus offers something called GPU Tweak 3. It's a free piece of software and it allows you to see everything about your GPU all in one place. You can overclock your GPU, but but you'll also have a dedicated area for this monitoring for each individual pin. And if the pin is green, then everything's good. And if it's red, that means it's not good. So that means you either need a new cable or simply plug in your cable all the way. But it's a good little indicator to know that something's not quite right and you are at risk. So that's a really handy piece of technology and I'm happy to see that come down. And who knows, maybe in a couple of more years, we'll see it on lower end models like Tough Gaming and Prime or something, who knows. At this time around, Around all of Asus's cards do have a vapor chamber, but the ROG Astral has a new patented vapor chamber. And this is now a milled vapor chamber, so it's definitely a different design from anything you're gonna see on Tough Gaming or Prime or ROG Strix even. And on top of that, instead of going with traditional thermal paste or liquid metal, Asus is using something called a phase change GPU thermal pad. And now the benefit of a GPU thermal pad is that whenever you're making connection with the GPU die with the thermal pad on it, where paste might spread and be a little bit of an uneven finish, the thermal pad will make sure that it is an even and consistent finish all the way through so that it's a better contact point. And then because of that, not only should you have lower temperatures, you should also have more consistent temperatures as well. And now one final thing I'll point out is that the ROG Astral is coming with a PCB that has been sprayed with a protective conformal coating. And basically what this means is that if you're a smoker, if you vape, or if you just have a lot of dust in your room, Room, then this will help protect the PCB on the inside of the GPU shroud. And again, it's one of those things, I don't really know how tangible that is for a lot of people out there, but it's cool to see the technology in the GPU. Again, it goes back to the build quality. It goes back to Asus just taking it to the next level. And that's what happens whenever you come at it from an approach of just go for it. Let's add that, let's add that. And the thing is, that's not even everything. There's a couple of other items I haven't even talked about yet, but I will talk about it in my dedicated review, so get subscribed for that. We still gotta talk about thermal performance, overclocking, base clocks. We need to talk about gaming performance. Let me know in the comment section down below specifically what you want to see in the full review of this card. What games are you interested in me testing? What resolutions and what other aspects of the card do you specifically want me to test? And I will be reading all the comments, I'll be engaging, and I'll be sure to try and accommodate all the requests that I can. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. Thank you, Asus, for sending over the card for review. And like, comment, subscribe, all the things. Until next time, E-Rock out.